Hey y'all, what's up? How's everybody doing today? Today is April the 2nd. I wanted to vlog yesterday, but I didn't because my husband, um, it was his birthday yesterday, April Fool's Day. So yeah, so I didn't get to vlog yesterday. We start out with great intentions to vlog every day. I know I do. And life happens. You know what I'm saying? Life gets in the way. So I'm on my way to my mother's house. Um, my mom had to go to the emergency room today because her foot has been bothering her like now for over a week. And y'all know how we just don't be liking to go to the emergency room. Um, but and she usually would have went to her doctor, but today it just got too bad. But anyhow, she went to the doctor today and check her out, see how she's doing and all that good old stuff. But I, but it's a nice day, y'all. It's a gorgeous day here in North Khaki Lacky and um, the sun is shining and all that good old stuff. I hope I'm in focus, y'all. Really, I do. But, um. So yeah, I'm going to see my mommy today and see how she's doing. She about she's really in pain though. She really is. Um, yeah, y'all check my hair. I'm doing a wash and go today. I never do wash and goes. I really had given up on wash and goes, but lately I have been so sick of twist outs. I'm just burnt out with twist outs. So I said I was going to give wash and goes, you know, a chance. And yeah, it's mad shrinkage, but you know what? I really like like my hair short so it really doesn't bother me um so i am leaving my mother's house and <laughs> it was a great visit even though my mom is in a lot of pain like a lot of pain it's crazy because she has a tumor on her foot you know like on the inside and she has to go see an orthopedic surgeon in a couple of days it was, I mean, I had to help her do a lot. I mean, it's crazy you know, how something could really affect you that bad, you know. But, um, yeah. So, I'm really tired, y'all. Like, really, I, I was sitting in a chair in her living room and I, like, almost fell asleep. But I'm the kind of person, I don't like to go to sleep. Not even at my mom's house. I like to go home and go to sleep. You feel me? Um, I really do. I like to go home and go to sleep. I don't like to go to sleep nowhere. Uh, but yeah, so what are y'all doing for this holiday weekend coming up? Easter weekend. Everybody's trying to do a cookout at my house and an Easter egg hunt. But I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I just don't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really I love my family, but I just got so I just don't really like to do a lot. Let me tell y'all what happened today. So my son, one of my sons, came, um, was at the house. He stopped by the house and he had been at work and he stopped by my house and he called me. He's like, "Mom, yo, it's in the neighborhood across the street. In the neighborhood across the street from my house, the house burned down, like burned down." And the fire was so hot, it melted the other neighbor's um, siding on their house. He said some kids, like middle eight kids, had been playing with fire on the porch. And it's a little windy here. It's really nice here. But it's windy, you know, a little windy. But some kids had been playing with fire on the porch. And they burned down the house. Oh, my God. Could you imagine being the owners and have to get a phone? First of all, you worried because it's like okay are my kids okay are my kids okay when you get the um call that your house had burned down y'all that was a brand new house they just finished finished building that house maybe like like eight months ago they had only been in that house the homeowners like maybe like six months only like six months and the kids burned down the house yo i'm telling you that's why i I don't know. I, you know, like when we were coming up, first of all, I didn't have, like, we, well, we grew up in the country, but at the same time, 
like with my kids, they knew not to have people in the house. They knew, I mean, and it's not even saying that you don't teach your kids because you can teach your kids the right way and stuff. And they get up and they get, you know, that peer pressure and get to deal with other kids and stuff. And they ultimately, you know, turn out to do what they want to do. So it, you can't even like blame, you can't always blame parents for everything that happened. You know, I hear people say all the time, well, people need to teach their kids. And it ain't that not everybody it's not a lot of people teach their kids it's not that people don't really teach their kids not everybody but at the same time when kids get a certain age they're gonna do what they got what they want to do but yeah so that was sad though house burned down and y'all just piling it up so my hair dried pretty quickly today i guess because it was warmer outside but um but like i was saying yeah I, i'm really like try and do more probably washing clothes because right now i am sick and tired of twist outs i'm just not feeling a twist out right now and i i guess i'm just going through that phase of things that i don't know but i'm just i'm just sick of twist outs i think and it's not that they're time consuming because i got the time down you know like from what it used to be so it's really not even that time consuming i just yeah so i just i'm not feeling them so i'm gonna try wash and goes probably for a while just to see if i can um you know to see if i i, I find that something to be something that i actually like so i'm gonna try that for a little while and it's gonna have to grow on me i think because you know I, it's gonna have to grow on me and i think um so I'm thinking about maybe like getting my hair cut down on the sides and the back some. And the problem is, is that my sides and my back outgrow my top all the time. Like it's so crazy because my sides and back will grow really fast, but it's something about the top of my hair that just won't grow as fast. So I'm thinking about um, getting that cut down some. And honestly, y'all, I had some dye in my hair from last year. I really want to just cut all that dye out of my hair and I know it's gonna take um some getting used to but honestly I think that that's gonna be the last time that I dye my hair I'm just each time I've dyed my hair and it's been professionally dyed before um dyed before at the beginning I like it I love it but then it's like I begin to like really not like the dye part of it anymore I, I i don't care what anybody says it is a difference when you dye your hair do not let anybody tell you it's no difference um you know it's a difference it's more work um to me the curl patterns are not the same i mean and you can have of course different different curl patterns all over your head but it's just something about that dye that it does something different to your hair so I think I'm over the whole dye thing and my edges are turning gray which they've been turning gray you know now for a little while and I don't have like a lot of gray but I'm almost to the point where I'm just ready to deal with it and just say you know what it is what it is and I think just because I am so tired of semi-permanent dye I'm just I'm just sick of dealing with all of it I'm just kind of over it you know what I'm saying you ever just feel like sometimes that you're just over something and it's a part of life so it is what it is and th and I think that's really the conclusion that I'm coming to is that it just it is what it is eventually your hair is gonna turn great anyway I thank God for letting me live to turn you know to get great hairs so I'm just kind of like because the alternative concerns so I'm just really kind of over the dye in my hair part um I just am and I think that what I'll do is if I want like some color added to it I think what I'll do is just like instead of doing color on my hair I'll just get a wig with some color in it and just call it a day because really I'm just to the point where I'm just done with it Hey y'all, so I finally made it home. This has been a long day for me. I finally made it home today and I am so freaking tired. Y'all, I feel so bad about that house across the street. Oh my goodness, it is like really, really bad. So what I wanted to show y'all is my project of, I'm so, y'all know I told y'all I've been decluttering now for a while. So I went through my summer, I went through my summer shoes and 
I want to show you what I decided to part ways with and get rid of. Brace yourself, okay? For real. Ta-da! These are all the shoes. And you know what? I'm going to let y'all know later about how many shoes, how many pairs of shoes I'm going to get rid of. But it is a lot of shoes, as y'all can see. And and it's nothing wrong with these shoes. Some of them are brand new. But it's just I hadn't worn them, wasn't wearing them. And I'm just sick of them. Just didn't even want to be bothered with them anymore. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show y'all. Yeah. I'll let you know how many pairs it was that I got rid of, but I'm just sick of them. And I'm gonna let y'all show y'all how many. I'm gonna show y'all how many pairs I actually decide to keep because it's just time. You know how it's just time to let go. And y'all might see a mess because I'm in the process of clean changing out my summer and winter gear. But um, let me show y'all what I decided to keep actually. And uh, there it is. You can see at the top up there. Um, and I got shoes like stacked on top of each other. But uh yeah. This is actually all that I decided to keep of my summer shoes. Um and I do have some down there. See, I even have some space in those few pairs, those few pairs down there that I actually decided to keep. So um, and I did like double up on my flats up here like you know in some places I have like double sandals packed on top of each other and stuff like that but for the most part I just decided to do away with those other shoes because I was just sick of them it's just really like overrated and I'm just really trying to get things together and I just I want to really even go through again at some point and minimize the ones that you actually saw that I decided to keep but yeah so it's been a long day I'm gonna sign off for now and hopefully I'll be back tomorrow and like double I'm gonna try to do a video every day but y'all know being realistic I might not get to do that but I'm gonna strive for it so I'll see y'all tomorrow y'all Bye.